Really what we're seeing uh, right now with the influx of, of heroin, uh, not only individuals overdosing, um, we're seeing a lot of situations where individuals are overdosing and the Narcan uh, is playing a role in that where they're uh, being saved, which is a good thing. Uh, but unfortunately, what we're also seeing is an increase in other crimes, um, not just the drug dealing and the drug possession, uh, but we're seeing a lot of situations where individuals who are addicted to heroin are going out and uh, committing crimes to obtain heroin. Uh, for example, we're seeing probably an increase in, in shoplifting, uh, you know, stealing items that they could possibly trade on the street for heroin. Uh, the most serious offense that we're seeing right now uh, are thefts involving firearms. Uh, so individuals are going into uh, typically a relative's home, uh, someone they know who has a gun, uh, and uh, stealing uh, that gun and then selling it on the street for a bundle or two of heroin, which is, is only 10 or 20 bags of heroin. Uh, we're seeing individuals breaking into cabins uh, and stealing firearms. Uh, and that's, that's our biggest problem right now. Individuals uh, taking firearms, selling them on the street just to get high for a day or two. Uh, then that gun is possibly being involved in God knows what. Uh, involving drug dealing, uh, shootings, homicides even. Uh, I know there's one case where a gun was, was stolen from northern Dauphin County and it was located uh, on a homicide victim uh, down in Baltimore. Uh, so when the police show up, there's a dead body, and lo and behold, the gun that was stolen in a uh, burglary up here uh, was found on the victim, uh, and that was actually traded for heroin down in Baltimore. Uh, another case uh, involving Dakota Boyer, uh, you know, he wasn't stealing guns, but he was breaking into churches, uh, you know, stealing cash, uh, whatever he could find from a church, and then actually committed a robbery of a uh, Dairy Queen uh, up in northern uh, Dauphin County. Another individual, Jason Tyner, uh, you know, he stole items from his aunt uh, and, and then sold them on the streets. Uh, so it's a huge problem right now. Uh, we're, we're seeing individuals stealing uh, mostly guns, uh, but in addition to guns, we're also seeing other items such as jewelry being stolen. And for example, Jason Tyner went into his aunt's house and stole a precious piece of jewelry that that woman was uh, putting together for 14 years, would take a pearl every year and add it to the, uh, the piece of jewelry, and her plan was to give it to her granddaughter when she got married. Uh, and she did that for 14 years. And for heroin, Jason Tyner went in and stole that from his aunt and then sold it on the streets for, you know, probably a, a couple bags, if not maybe only a bag of heroin. Uh, Dan Carl is another defendant that we recently had who broke into, um, I believe it was his parents' home and stole a handgun uh, two years ago. Uh, that wasn't, I don't believe it was reported at the time, and the, the gun was actually recovered from our drug task force and uh, given back to the victims. Lo and behold, Dan Carl steals the gun a second time, uh, I believe back in uh, 2015, and then over the next two months steals three more handguns uh, from his parents and actually sold those to a drug dealer in Palmyra. Uh, we were able to recover, I believe, most of those. Um, another individual we recently uh, arrested and, and pled guilty yesterday was an individual who traded uh, her access card or an access card that she obtained, uh, which is a, a card that provides benefits, uh, public assistance benefits, and she was willing to trade that $100 on that card uh, for a bundle uh, of heroin that could probably be used and consumed uh, in a day. Uh, so the nature of the crimes uh, varies from robbery, individuals going into stores and robbing them to, to get money to buy heroin, to burglary, people breaking into homes, uh, stealing jewelry and guns, uh, to those guns then leading or landing on the streets, and God knows what's going on with those guns. Uh, shoplifting, uh, illegally selling your access card, uh, the, the heroin epidemic not only is ruining the lives of the heroin addicts, uh, but what it's doing is it's affecting society in general and making us all a victim. Uh, family, friends, and strangers are, are being victims of these individuals.